Hi Leo, it's Zahara Stars with Illum Astrology and Tarot doing your December 2019 tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing awesome. I'm sending you positive energy as always for all the best. I hope this is the best reading you guys ever have. So give me a second to tap in here and see what's going on for Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Wow, awesomeness. We got the Ace of Pentacles right out the bat, which is big money, career success, a promotion, um, money that you've been waiting to come to you, a new job opportunity that pays you higher than what you've been paid, a new job potential. This is um, inheritance. It's just money that's gonna solve a lot of your problems, okay? So this is awesome. Let's see. Wow, we have the Tower. We have the Four of Swords. We have the High Priestess. <clears throat> we have the Six of Wands coming up next to this Ace of Pentacles. So this is looking really awesome. The Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Wow, the Ace of Cups. Oh my goodness, this is fabulous. We got the Four of Cups next to that. And then we got Cernanos. Whoa. So, what I see here is something dramatic occurred and shifted, okay? A lot of you were thinking heavily about what's next, about what to do about a situation, whether it's a person, place, or a thing, a job, maybe it's just life in general. A lot of you have been sitting around waiting for something to happen. The tower coming in before that is like some sort of breakthrough. Something may have dramatically happened, okay, that put you into the state of mind. This is in the past position up here. Something that was... You maybe intuitively knew whatever this situation was. We'll get more clarification on it. But maybe it was something that you didn't know. It was hidden from you. There wasn't clarity on it. But I feel like you guys kind of knew. Whatever this situation was, the tower, a breakdown of some sort, okay? It could be an ending of a job. could be the ending of a relationship. could be the ending of something that came out of the blue suddenly, unexpectedly, um, is bringing you into a better place because we got the Six of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. So this looks like this is getting praise, getting recognition. This is definitely getting recognition. This is big money. This is, this is definitely a new job, a promotion, or money that's gonna put you in a really good place. This Queen of Pentacles could very well have something to do with this. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, somebody that's stable, maybe somebody that wants to invest in you, could be a new boss. Um, it could be a new job opportunity in which you're gonna work with this person. It could just be, it could be anybody, whoever this person is. that maybe you were unsure about in the past, okay? We got Cernanos here, which is definitely um, darker energy, something that you've been struggling with. Maybe there's been jealousy. Maybe there's been people that haven't had your best interest at heart um, that's left you feeling depressed or sad or unhappy. Maybe some of you have this attachment to somebody that you can't let go of. Okay, that you're having very difficult letting go. If you don't want any of these, you want that one, right? That's kind of a, a situation. For some of you, it could be an earth sign, but it doesn't have to be because these are general readings. This could just be somebody that's stable, consistent, that follows through, that's been sticking by your side through thick and thin. Um, because we got the Ace of Cups here, which is big love. Some of you have been sad, 
okay, about a very passionate connection that you've had with somebody that you've been feeling like it's never going it, to, like you can't, you're not going to get them back. Something feels like that, but you love them so much. They love you so much. Some of you, something happened in the past. You're now getting the recognition so you can have the love that you've wanted. And it's revolving around money and this money is coming through. Let me see. We got the perfect storm on Cernanos. Something very dramatic happened here. Okay, this is a little bit of a dark night of the soul, but it also could be something very powerful. Some sort of resistance, some sort of situation that came in. I'm going to get clarity on this to see what more specifically is going on here. The bottom of the deck is smell the roses, Leo. Things are turning up. Things are turning up, okay? Let me get some more here to get some more clarity on what's going on here. So this one came out here with this one. So this is a completion, okay? The tower moment. Whatever it was that occurred, it's completed something. As above, so below is divine timing. It's astrological influences. It's, it's meant to happen. It's, this situation was supposed to happen so you can complete an old cycle, okay? On the High Priestess, we got Release and Vision Quest. So a lot of you, I feel like you've been feeling like you're you're out in the desert, literally, out in the Sahara, like you're just like, what is going on? And there's something that you need to release that has to do with something that you intuitively knew you had to release in order to get you out of this place. Yeah, see, it's, it's the Six of Cups, somebody of the past. Okay, you, you're not letting go of that person of the past. There's somebody that is your soulmate that's deeply meaningful, maybe is in the desert. <laughs> um, you've, been feeling, you've been feeling out in the desert without this person and you've been really trying to manifest them, trying to get them to go and you've had to release them. You've had to release this person Temporarily, I think, is what I'm getting from this. This person might have been very deeply spiritual, very insightful, psychic, tarot reader, something like that, or just the high priestess is also the divine feminine. 
yeah, it's like you've been trying to figure out a way to get back with this person. But you had to release them temporarily and you haven't really, you haven't let go of them. Whoa. It's like you guys, something in your just kind of chill, okay, when you just were like, all of this happened, you'd let go, you're like, okay, this is all like things of the past, I feel like, you spent a lot of time thinking about whatever happened here, but it was ending of a cycle, and there's a love interest here, somebody from the past that you had to let go of as a result of this. And now there's a breakthrough, a big breakthrough on money. So just relax a little bit. There's a big breakthrough on, breakthrough on money coming through here with the combustion and the ace of pentacles. It's like, boom. Musical joy and promise, moon. Some of you, this earth sign or this stable person who's been very consistent, it very well could be this person that you had to let go of temporarily of the past who's been working really hard on building herself or himself, working hard on their money, trying to create stability. They were your happiness and... There was a promise for you guys to return. You guys promised each other to come back together or this new moon is a new beginning. For some of you, this is a new job in music. Okay? For some of you. But I feel like this person made you very happy and promise to stay with you or wait for you. Wow. We got vigilance on the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody has been waiting. Through the difficulties of. Maybe you've had a lot of fighting or, or arguments with this person due to financial reasons or just whatever chaos you are experiencing in your life. Whatever ending that happened that just threw you for a loop and you had to let go of this person. It's like this is like your soulmate. And they've been vigilant or you've been vigilant and dealing with the difficulties, whatever struggles that you guys had to go through because it's on this Ace of Cups, which is big love. And there's been, you know, steady vigilance. Stone is, is, is like there no matter what, right? Through the difficulties, the two faces of mankind, through the difficulties, because I see that this new moon and this promise and this vision The Six of Cups in reverse is not letting go of this person from the past, but then it says release, meaning you had to, but you didn't want to. And you know, or they know, that you guys are going to get back together. This is like a true love situation here that's been tried and tribulations out. So, on Cernanos, we got the perfect storm and volatility. This is an ending of the negative phase for those of you that this applies that you've been going through, where you've been feeling like you've been blocked. Cernanos is like the devil card. It can indicate to people that are bound together through thick and thin, even through all the hauntings and the ridiculous blockages that are put up, right? And the perfect storm comes through and volatility to break through or break out or put an end to this like you've you you fought it together. 
And it's like, no matter what you do, we're still together. And now it's like, this breakthrough is happening. You're gonna be making some money. You're gonna be very solid, solid, okay? There's something coming through here. There was, there's a completion here. All right, we got the seven of pentacles, which is reaping the hard reaping the rewards of the hard work, work put in. And the ten of cups, happy family, big love, happy home. For a lot of you, you're going to be reaping the rewards of, of this promise, of this sticking together, of this vision of being together. Wow, this is like a true love story. You had to let go of somebody you truly loved. But but there's... This could be an engagement. This is also reaping the rewards of, of hard work put in. And the Ten of Cups is the ultimate wish fulfillment. Happy family, happy home, happiness, big love. It looks like you guys have been through... For those of you that this resonates that have been going through some difficulties and you had a shake-up, a massive shake-up in your life, okay? It was meant to put you on a new path and it's complete. And you had to let go of somebody from your past that you truly loved and they loved you and there was a lot of commitment and loyalty and they made you very happy and you waited for this opportunity of big money to come, for some of you, it was because of finances. And for others of you, it's just, you guys have been vigilant through the difficulties, fighting through the Cernanos situations that have come about, blockages, uh, difficult situations, dark night of the soul, um, you know, whatever type of negativity, blockage, negative energy that was surrounding the situation, there's a breakthrough on that. And now you're going to reap the rewards and come back together. Wow. Wow, Leo. Um, your readings have been really intense lately. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get an oracle card for you guys. Some advice or... Now, the timing is different for all of you. You all have your sun rising signs at different degrees. Your sun and moon at different degrees, so it'll be different. But I've been seeing this return of some, a couple who has been long through some, some trials, tribulations, and some difficulties. A soulmate person. And it's like, finally... That negative energy is being destroyed. You got dreams. Some of you may be dreaming about this person a lot, or this is a dream come true. Oh, we got awakening, which definitely that tower brought about. But a lot of you have been setting your intentions on this and your intention of returning back together with this person is coming through dreams and awakening and intentions. Strength. Yeah, we know how strong you Leos are. You guys are the strength card in tarot. <laughs> 
And then we got <clears throat> gratitude. You're going to be very grateful for this big money, this recognition, and returning to your love is what I see in this particular reading. <laughs> wow, Leos. Well, for those of you that this resonates with, I'm sending you guys lots of love and positive energy for all the best. And I, I'm so happy to deliver these messages to you. Um, thank you for, for, for joining me. Um, if you found this helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like your own personal reading, you can visit my site at www.illumastrology.com. Oops, I should have put this down a little bit so you guys could see. I'm sorry about that. Um, but thank you so much again for joining me until next time.